Okay, so first off, I want to apologize if I sound just, I just, my allergies are destroying my nose right now, so sorry if I sneeze or whatever, I don't know, I'm going to cut it out if I do, but just anyway. Okay, so, <laughs> football is back, we got the Baltimore Ravens at the Miami Dolphins, it's going to be at home, and even though it looks like it's probably not going to be too promising of a year for us, we are excited nonetheless. And we're going to go over a preview of the matchup. And we're going to do this every Thursday. Just so you know, it's not going to be literally a preview every single week. After this game, we're going to go over a recap of the last game. What we did wrong, what we can improve. And then go over um, a preview for the next game. So I don't want it to be the exact same thing. Like, my schedule's a little busy. So hopefully I can maybe do more episodes than just Thursday. But that's what I have planned for now. So anyway, how this is going to work, we're going to go over each team's key to victory, and then I'm going to say my overall projected winner. <clears throat> so let's get into it. The Ravens' key to victory is going to just be, in general, Lamar Jackson. Uh, Lamar Jackson had some inconsistencies last year, specifically throwing the football. He has some uh, criticisms that he's not very accurate. Uh, however, he's a very mobile quarterback, and he runs the ball well. And uh, as us Dolphin fans know, we are not very good at containing mobile quarterbacks. So that alone might be enough for the Ravens to win this game. However, I just saw that the Dolphins won six of their seven games last year with two plus turnovers. And as we know, Lamar Jackson is not very accurate. So that will be the Dolphins' key to victory is turning the ball over. So this matchup, it's a little more even than it looks. <laughs> uh... But the Ravens, we do know, also just completely have our number. Uh, you, I, I pretty much call them daddy every time we play. I'm sorry. Now, Ryan Fitzpatrick does have this weird thing uh, where he starts out the year really well and he goes 3-0. Uh, but simply put, I'm just not going to doubt the Ravens. Uh, they have our number. And I think overall they're a little more talented than we are. So I think this game could maybe be one of our closer ones against the Ravens, surprisingly, but I will give it to them. Uh, so that's what I got this week. Let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments below. Regardless, we're excited for Dolphin football to be back.